I'm uh, one of the artisans at the fort. Uh, we work in the uh, trades area, part of the maintenance department, and uh, we represent historic artisans that were at the fort in 1815, uh, 16, and that encompasses uh, artisans like the tinsmith, the cooper, canoe builder. Each of the tradesmen uh, portray a character or person that was here at the fort in 1815, uh, and I portray uh, Gervais Nolan. Uh, he's uh, an Irish French Canadian from uh, St. Charles area in uh, Quebec and through the basic information that we learn about this person we uh, develop uh, a, a character to, to build so that when we're talking to, to people we're not talking in uh, uh, what we call third person. We, we do what we call flexible role playing so we talk as if we're here in 1815 that I am Gervais Nolan, but uh, if there's a, a need for answering a modern question with flexible role playing, we can come out of that uh, particular role. In a modern day sense, uh, I look after the uh, firing of the muskets, the cannons, the uh, historic armor shop, blacksmith shop, powder magazine, and uh, the interpretations that uh, will be taking place in, in, the, in the shops. We also do a, a broader range of items. We do retail sales. Uh, uh, some of us are at the David Thompson Astronomical Observatory. Uh, we've learned a little bit of astronomy. Uh, we do maintenance of the fort in the winter time. We do a wide variety of programs, musket and cannons, discovery settlers. I've been at the fort. I started as armorer in 1982, and uh, in 87 they added the blacksmith. Uh, uh, duties to me, but I, I started as a uh, summer student in 1974, so I've been here a little, few years now. The armor shop uh, would be a, a, a repair depot for the Northwest Company. Uh, firearms are sold to the native people and uh, for 9 to 12 beaver pelts, and when they were broken, they could be brought back to the fort, and the Northwest Company would repair them for a modest fee. And, them out again. So there's a forge inside where we can heat metal to uh, uh, reshape parts and there's also woodworking tools for stock recommend. Well they can expect to see the Northwest Trade Musket. Uh, this is the standard trade musket of, of the fur trade. It's easily identified by the dragon serpent on the side. Uh, otherwise a fairly plain gun but uh, you can uh, feel the weight of the firearm and uh, you can fire the musket off or you can help pump the bellows if we're doing metal work. So there's a number of hands-on activities that can take place in the armor shop. Uh, I learned by trade, uh, there was a, a gunsmith here before me, John Robertson, so uh, when I was a summer student, I picked up uh, a number of uh, uh, skills through him. Uh, there are two blacksmiths here, Raphael Alicetti and uh, Daniel McGoy, and I uh, was able to pick up some uh, knowledge from them. And the rest is research and uh, looking at an artifact, trying to figure out how it was actually made and uh, doing that. The skill of uh, working with uh, metal, uh, it's still kind of exciting uh, after all these years to put a square piece of metal into the forge, heat it up to an orange sheet, which would be about 2200 degrees, and then hammer it and shape it into two things. Working with people, uh, I've learned a, a lot about uh, working with different individuals. Uh, summer students, uh, you get them when they're 16 years old and then they leave when they're 21, so you get to watch uh, a lot of development and maturity in, in people. I think all the, uh, the trades here are, uh, well, they're all archaic, so uh, there, there will always be a, a small niche for uh, old trades, keeping them alive and that. Uh, there's people that are interested in history and, and the, the old skills and uh, I, I think the future is, is quite secure for uh, the older trades.